Look here. Yes, sir. Wonder who 
wrote this? Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A... brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Vague, yeah. Be ready! On your side. Well fought, you two. Hey, it's another spirit. Come now. I don't bite. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? The other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, Spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Disappear. Come, let us not be distracted.
Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Oh.
better yourself. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Boy, over here. Sir, Kvekia. Remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted? What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy. I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you.
Boy. Yes, sir. It's another one of those maps. tell you about offering help don't correct but can we this just... is not a debate you must learn focus our journey need be your only concern but what if they can help us that one seemed to know a little about the lake and how does that help us with our goal we won't know unless we ask
something down there. Freemont, Eric. Are, are you okay? No, Sam. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. These abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. A thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal. Boy, what a sad story. Yes. We should help him. Really? You are surprised. Well, yeah. I didn't think you'd care about helping a spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Ah. Oh. part of his crew? That's a tough crew. And all were his responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. Does it frighten you? Uh... Responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to, but not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here, with you, makes me feel more grown up. Please. 
seriously. How did this one captain lead so many men? He had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. He must have been a bad leader. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True. But these men chose to follow. Hmm. Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. Father, were you ever a leader? I... many years ago, yes. I led men in battle. Were you a good leader? It is... complicated. Did you no ever... No more questions, boy. Focus on the task at hand. Yes, sir. the last ship. I hope the captain will be satisfied now. Unlikely. He was determined to put these men to rest himself. But he would have never been able to. That does not matter to him. Our victory will only remind him of his failure. Then why do we do this? What's that down there? My men are... they roam no longer. That's right. We kill... uh... We laid them all to rest. I see. So even in death, I am a failure. But in life you were honorable, strong-willed, and you inspired loyalty. These are good qualities, aren't they, boy? Yeah. I couldn't believe how many men followed you here. I... thank you for your kind words. 
May your journey have a more pleasant end than mine. Well, you're right. You didn't seem very satisfied. I guess you never really get over losing ones you care about. <laughs> never. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. Boy. Kavikia. to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well... We can't expect them all to know something useful.
I wish mom were here. What's that? Mom were here. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. We can beach over here.
bake ya. Well, worth a shot. There was an entire city under the water. My lad, a forgotten city. What was it called? Now, uh, well, I forgot. Another piece of the language cipher. Good. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govig? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that. I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Here. Boy. Sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. Cinema. Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. 
What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. Treasures from four different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Fafnir was a rather interesting fellow, little brother. Perhaps I'll tell you a story one day. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? Let's get to it. from the least. Ah, 
What more do you need? trees with that, right? Neat. I wish mom were here. Happy to provide. I wish mom were here. must have gotten here first.
Nice shot. Locked. Find another entrance. There's something up there. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure.
pots, the dragon. No magical treasure, and no whetstone. Keep your expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. Resources. The main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Sudi's whetstone. I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. ready for them this time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. 
Expect the worst. Assume nothing. And always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. No whetstone. And only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? No. Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Mm, guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. Yeah! 
Why would his son betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Yes. You, uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone, perchance? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the reaver's back. Oh. Oh! He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <sighs> Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father.
back to boat here. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. I still can't believe a son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? I know, he only got one side of the story. But come on, his own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but- Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah, a little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No, I imagine not. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get there? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wheel. My thought as well.
I guess sometimes when you don't think I can do something, but I can. It is not always easy to know what. It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that watch down? I wonder. Focus up. Oh my. Oh my. Boy. Yes, sir. Hmm. This is good to know.
happened over there? This is the sun. That ghost son? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! Yes. They used it to smash his face in. They did? Ew. Focus up! Whetstone behind. If Sindri wants it, it must be really useful. Well, lad, weavers have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object.
boy. Yes, sir. Another map. Bet we'll find something useful here. Read it. This says, false leader. I've seen it written all over this place. Look here. There's a scroll here. It belonged to the sun. Wow, it goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Filled with remorse. Forget my actions. Hmm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the store. You didn't happen to find the whetstone, perchance. We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, wonderful. Here, for your trouble. To test out the new whetstone, it may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back.
What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. Hmm. So much like your mother.
Atreus, follow me. One more for the collection. Another name. Gerdrifer. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? Final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just. Never mind. I just gotta return the bones.
One more and we can translate those Niflheim runes. wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? What? Fafnir storeroom, Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, huh? lads. become a dragon, Mimir. Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scrot was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. <laughs>
never answered the boy's question, Head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? Well, I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. He must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanier goddess. Paths. I had legs. Yeah, we little bugger. Well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality.
We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! Evni Ukar Bithyast. She says she'll honor our request. Eldi Fagna. And reunite us? In Okay, you're all right, say it. I told you so. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Boy. Sir. It's another one of those maps.
Another name. Air! It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. <laughs> 